The last three U.S. presidents all recognized that apprenticeships can help provide decent jobs and meet the demand for skilled technical workers. But apprenticeships have fallen out of favor as a post-school option, and they're not offered by many smaller workplaces. Apprenticeships are historically marginalized in the U.S. Instead, a four-year college degree is uh, usually the preferred option. But with the looming student debt crisis, apprenticeship has recently re-emerged as a viable option for many Americans. And it's also been a topic that has received bipartisan support in recent years. For businesses, apprenticeship is one main route through which they recruit talent. Because apprenticeships combine theoretical instruction with practical experience, they are a great way to ensure a close fit between the skills that companies need and the skills that they get through their apprenticeship program. In other words, apprenticeships are a great way to close the skills gap and uh, which holds back productivity. Research by Dr. Johan Frutwingel has focused on how Germany's much admired apprenticeship system can be translated to the US. German multinationals in the US often work with a combination of local colleges and other regional firms to offer apprenticeships. So that's in fact one of the challenges that firms experience, right? So many Americans don't really know what apprenticeships are or they have a very outdated um, perception of it. So educating the public is one of the main tasks um, for firms. And you know they do that, for example, by speaking to high school students. Dr. Fort Wango explored how these networks work in order to share best practice with smaller businesses so that they can save time and money and create their own apprenticeship schemes. Dr. Fort Wangle's work shared best practice, raised awareness of apprenticeship networks, and contributed to further funding. So by partnering up and working in a network, individual firms enjoy a set of advantages. And together they can fill a class and thus negotiate a more targeted curriculum with the college. They can also share the various costs involved. And being part of a network is particularly beneficial to small and medium-sized enterprises which often don't really have the resources um, to support their own program. So having a third party that helps administer the network and act as kind of a referee is a great way to help the network run efficiently. In the context of apprenticeship, um, one obvious competition pertains to who gets the most talented applicants from the common pool. And having a third party involved can make sure that those conflicts or potential conflicts don't escalate. One of those third parties is the German American Chamber of Commerce. The German American Chamber of Commerce now manages seven interorganizational networks across the U.S., up from just one in 2016. So, thanks to research by King's Business School, there are more apprenticeships in the U.S. than there were before.